so many things on board dive boats run off of lithium ion batteries. Things like dive computers, underwater cameras, and phones. And one experienced diver who has been on board the Conception has questions about how those batteries are charged and wonders if that's what may have sparked the deadly blaze. As the search continues for the final body aboard the burned out dive boat, the investigation continues into the cause of the fatal fire. Go ahead, jump in. Former passengers like Lance Zimmer, who had just gone on a dive trip last week aboard the Conception, stunned by the tragedy. I just couldn't believe it. They've had a great track record. Um, it, that's why this event came as a real shock. Authorities say the 34 victims appear to have died from smoke inhalation, all of them asleep below deck in their bunks when the blaze started. Zimmer, who took these pictures of life aboard the boat, says he wonders if highly flammable lithium ion batteries may be to blame. Everybody had phones, cameras, so obviously there were, you know, we didn't all, didn't all have our personal stations where we could charge stuff so there were kind of central areas with power strips and they were a bit of uh, a mess. He says many of the passengers electronics were charged near the galley close to the stairs and the only access below deck. He says he can't believe so many lost their lives in such a horrific way. I thought there were certainly going to be more survivors um, and then as I continued to be glued to every news story that came out uh, the reality you know, quickly came into focus that this was just, you know, utterly tragic. Weather forced an early end to salvage and recovery efforts today. They aren't set to resume again until early next week. As for the question about batteries, it is something federal investigators are looking into as they try to figure out the cause of that fatal fire. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.